Do you find yourself doing more work than you need to? Is your timeline off the rails and totally unorganized? If so, you probably need to nest. Hello, everyone. We are talking about nesting today, which is one of my favorite things to talk about. I am a nesting freak. What is nesting? Uh, it's pretty simple once you get the hang of it, but it is the act of taking all these clips here and right clicking and going to nest. And then you have a whole new sequence. Once you have a whole new sequence, you can move the entire sequence all at once versus being within here and needing to move each thing separately. Why is nesting so important? It definitely cleans up the timeline versus the opposite, you know, having this here in my timeline. It definitely helps to clean it up and utilize a little bit less of your timeline space. And again, it also is super helpful if you're working with graphics and things that you might need to create them all in separate layers, but then move them all at once or apply an effect to all of them at once. In this project, for example, you'll see I've put a lot of nests in here. And let's look at one of them that's not nested. So I've got this graphic, this graphic, this graphic, this graphic, and all these little ones. In the case that I need to manipulate them all at once, whether I'm using transform or honestly just keeping something like this organized when I'm doing a countdown, the easiest way for me to organize this is to nest it and see here that it has made itself a new sequence. Now I like to keep my nest in a separate folder other than my sequences, just because after you make so many, it kind of makes a mess. <laughs> um, so I keep my nest in a separate folder and you'll see it's made it so organized and now I can manipulate, I can copy this as many times as I need to. I have it copied throughout this sequence and it just makes my workflow a lot easier and cleaner. In the case that you need to undo a nest that you've done, you can come into your nest copy everything, come back into your main sequence, delete this, and then paste your nest in. I have it pasting right here. That's why I came up here. You can do it that way. There's another way that you can do it. If you come back into here, so without needing to like do all the copy and pasting, you can select your nest, hit F to match frame. You'll see that it has sourced this specific sequence. So if you pulled it in, it's going to pull in the unnested clips. But why did it pull in the unnested clips versus just the nest? Well, I'll tell you, it's because this button here, because I have it unchecked. If you have it checked, let me undo this. If you have this checked and you go here and you want to find this sequence and you want to pull it in as is, it's going to pull it in as the nest again. Now, this can be really helpful if you are putting together a template and you want to pull in this specific nest and keep it as a nest, but that's not always the case. So it's important to keep in mind that this button here could be the case if you want to get one or the other, if you want to get the full unnested sequence or if you want to pull in the nest. Now, when nest can be super helpful is if you are working in a template or you want to create a template. This is an example of one of my awesome clients and we work in a template style format. You'll see all the green here is all nests that have been set up and created so that if you click in each segment, it's going to give you um, the area that I can work in. Um, and then it really helps keep things really organized. You can have specific effects pasted on all of your nests in the audio section. And you come in here and, you know, you might have a compressor or certain things built in and that will help your workflow move a lot faster. So it's really helpful if you are an editor that edits something like this, which is like a new style channel or anything that has a really consistent flow, you could consider making a template based off of nests. Uh, okay, a couple times that you might have nesting issues is if you're working with audio, nesting is specifically designed to make your video workflow easier. It's not designed to make your audio workflow easier. If you are working with music and you have it under here and you need to nest this video, and you have it timed specifically to the music, you're then going to, unless you nest the audio with it, you're then going to lose all that timing that you might have had time to the music because you can't see it on your main timeline. And if you go right into the nest, you're not going to have the music sync to it. Now, if you do pull the audio in with it and you nest the whole thing, 
that might work. Unfortunately, in my experience, it is really difficult working with audio in Nest. I've had experiences of pulling audio into the Nest, but then the audio in the main sequence is different. Um, so I would really suggest keeping your audio in your main sequence and only using your Nest for video. And if you have a timing issue, if you have things specifically timed to the music, I would wait until everything is properly timed out and all of that is locked before you start messing with Nest and trying to um, move around your graphics too much. I would definitely have your timing set in place so that you're not going back needing to retime things if you make notes. Um, so that's all for today. If you like this video, give me a like. If you have other ideas for Premiere tutorials that you'd like me to do, leave a comment below. And until next time, I'll see you guys in the next video.